Hi, this is your Hurricane Tracker video update recorded August 2nd, 2011 at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Well, we do have a couple of systems to get you updated on today with the primary story of the week being a Tropical Storm Emily out here in the Eastern Caribbean Sea. Much more on Emily in just a bit, but first we do have Hurricane Eugene. Right now Eugene is a Category 2 storm here in the open East Pacific and Eugene will be moving off to the west-northwest into open waters and will not be a threat for anyone. And quickly, there is a new low that is spun up here south of Mexico and it, based on the first models for that system, it does appear that will also move west away from the uh, Mexican coast. But again, the main story is Emily and right now the current track from the National Hurricane Center does bring her up very close to the southeast United States coast. And uh, let's start on Emily this afternoon and uh, first take a look at the satellite loops. And uh, the first thing you notice if you've been following the storm is she's a lot better organized today uh, versus the last couple of days. It's a very nice looking tropical storm. There's very nice outflow and fanning of the clouds. That's usually indicative that a storm is strengthening. And in fact, the latest advisory just came out from the Hurricane Center and they have upgraded the winds up to 50 miles an hour. The spinning you see in this direction, in this uh, general location, is the mid-level center. And uh, where I have placed the X, that's where the low-level center is uh, situated. So right now the storm is still a little disorganized at the lower levels. And uh, if this low-level center can be pulled under the mid-level center and this system gets stacked, then the storm could strengthen to possibly a strong tropical storm. So over time we'll see if that happens. But right now, it's a good looking storm, but it is still a little bit disorganized. And there's a low chance that it could become a hurricane, but it's not very likely at this point. Now the latest track just issued minutes ago by the National Hurricane Center. Uh, it does shift the track a little bit further east away from Florida as the model consensus, consensus today has been uh, more over the Bahamas versus closer to Florida. And uh, another important note is the latest track from the Hurricane Center does bring the center of Emily directly over Hispaniola, which is a very mountainous terrain, and they're showing Emily weakening to a depression as soon as she crosses uh, the island there. And there are tropical storm watches up for the southern Bahamas, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico. And then uh, there is still a little bit of question once uh, Emily does emerge here into the southwest Atlantic, a few computer models are showing uh, that Emily could strengthen to a category one hurricane and again, it will be awfully close to the southeast United States coast, so we'll need to pay close attention to, to the future developments. Now again, the model consensus is for east of Florida. This is a track potential map with yellow being uh, the lowest risk, medium being the highest risk, and of course, uh, sorry, orange being the medium risk and, and red being the highest risk of where the center would track. Uh, right now, the most likely scenario uh, would be east of Florida over the Bahamas. Again, Florida, the southeast United States coast, you still have a medium chance that the center could get very close to you. So definitely anybody who's in a, in a shaded color here needs to pay close attention to Emily. And uh, even here in the eastern gulf up the Florida panhandle, uh, keep a watchful eye out as there were a couple of models that wanted to take it a little bit further westward before turning it north. But as each hour progresses, the models are getting a little bit better and a little bit more consensus is being defined uh, that it will move east of Florida. But that's not set in stone and that probably uh, can and will change over the next coming, coming days here. Now as far as the time frame, uh, sometime th Thursday morning, Emily would be re-emerging uh, out of Hispaniola and back out in the open water. And then north of Cuba entering the Bahamas sometime on Friday, Friday afternoon. And then the possible threat to the southeast United States coast would be over the weekend as we get into Saturday morning uh, through about Sunday night and Monday morning. And here's the, uh, the intensity map. Uh, different computer models in about 60 hours uh, show Emily as a Category 1 hurricane. And in fact, uh, several of them in the 60 to 100 hour period about five or six of them do show that Emily may end up as a Category 1 hurricane here over the Bahamas. So if you live in the Bahamas or Southeast Florida, pay very close attention to the future track and intensity of uh, Emily as any slight deviation could make all the difference. 
I uh, wanted to quickly give you a close-up image of uh, the island of Hispaniola, the countries of the Dominican Republic and Haiti. Over the next 48 hours, this is what we're going to be monitoring very closely. You know, how much of the storm center goes over this mountainous terrain, because the mountainous terrain would disrupt the low-level center, and that would be very good news for Bahamas and possibly the southeast United States coast. We would love nothing more than to see this center disrupted and weakened uh, once it crosses the mountains of, uh, of the Dominican Republic here. So we'll be keeping a close eye on that. Uh, here's a couple of uh, images of the computer models. And again, the close-up view, you can see there's a few models that want to keep bringing Emily towards the west, towards the southeast Gulf in southern Florida. But the consensus, most of the models this afternoon are showing uh, track over the Bahamas and then beginning to curve towards the northeast. And here on the uh, wider shot, you can see the curve a lot better. But again, several models do bring it awfully close to the Florida uh, Peninsula and even the Carolina uh, Outer Banks. So again, I can't stress enough, if you live in the southeast United States coast, pay very close attention to the future tracks of Emily. Now, what is causing uh, the movement of Emily? Well, in the short term, we're going to have a uh, trough of low pressure as indicated here in the highlighted shade of red. This trough of low pressure is digging to the south and in the short term that will help to steer Emily towards the west-northwest uh, up towards the Bahamas. Now as we get into the longer term, this is the GFS computer model. I'm going to put this into motion. And you're going to see Emily coming here uh, over the uh, Dominican Republic. Here's the first trough which is starting to lift out in a few days. Emily moving to the northwest. Then you're going to see a second trough start digging down out of the United States. That second trough would be responsible, here it comes digging south, for picking Emily up and moving her off to the northeast. So that would be the saving grace. Now obviously this is four, five, six days in the future. A lot can change with these models. Sometimes we, we may not have a good idea as to what's going to happen until maybe two to three days before. And if you live in hurricane country, you probably have seen this many times where a track has been issued and it's been shifted one way or the other by a few hundred miles. So again, pay very close attention to this storm. And um, this is just kind of a future track of uh, uh, Tropical Storm Emily. And uh, again, so Saturday, Sunday would be the time frame to, to look out here over the northern Bahamas and the eastern Florida coast. Thanks so much for uh, being a Hurricane Tracker customer. We'll be back with another video update if we see the models uh, change uh, in a big way. And of course, we'll continue to issue audio updates every day, usually in the afternoon. And if you have any questions, uh, send us a tweet through our Twitter feed under the live update section of the app. Thanks so much for being a Hurricane Tracker customer, for using our app, and have a great day, everybody.